Hi, this is Jake from Optimus Futures, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to utilize drawing tools and how to add indicators to your charts on the ATAS order flow trading software. So of course, first up, we're going to want to open up a chart. As you can see, I do have one currently open in the background. If you don't have a chart open, you can come to the little homepage screen here and then click on one of the following either charts, spread charts or tick clusters all will work. Either way, you can reconfigure this at any time up here in the top left hand corner and choosing what type of chart you want. So let's come to our chart now and let's begin to walk through how to add drawing tools and indicators to your platform. And again, they make it really easy and you can utilize all these features up here in the top on your chart. The two we'll be focusing on is the drawing objects as well as the indicator section. So let's take a look at drawing objects. So this is represented by a late little pencil icon, we can call it. When you click this and drop it down, you'll see you have access to quite a few different drawing tools here, some of which have um, shortcuts attached to them. So for example, a trend line is going to be F2 on your keyboard. Fibonacci retracements is going to be F8. As you can see, the corresponding keyboard shortcut is going to be listed on the right hand side in the name of each indicator or in this case drawing tool is going to be on the left and as you can see they have the typical let's call them windows functions such as select all copy all copy selected paste undo delete these can all be utilized as well so if you have a couple different drawing tools and you like them you can copy and paste them on another chart you can copy and paste them somewhere on this chart all of which applies and you have these options down here as well as their keyboard shortcuts as well. And they're very similar to the windows. For example, copy is control C, paste is control V. So let's take a look at just, for example, a trend line. Now there's not gonna be any exact rhyme or re reason to my little drawing tools here, but I just wanna show you the technical aspect of how to actually do it. So once you have it selected there, it looks like I didn't select it properly. We have our trend line selected and where we first click, that'll be our first starting point. You can see this is a little pivot point and it'll pivot across this wherever we click first. And then we can just left click and drop and then we can keep on doing so. And you can see it pivots off of one point to the other. So that's going to be a trend line. You can do the same for vertical. We have it selected. We can click right here and it'll just place vertical trend lines for us. As you can see, having these shortcuts or memorizing them is actually pretty important here. Because as you'll notice, once we place an indicator, it becomes unactivated, we could say, and we'll have to go back up to the top and come to our little toolbar here and select it again. So if you know your keyboard shortcut, you can just keep on tapping that on your keyboard every time you're done with a selection or done drawing. So now let's do a horizontal line. This is F6, so we can click here and it'll just put a vertical or excuse me, a horizontal line across our screen. So you get the point, you can continue on, go through these Fibonacci retracement. We can select one point here. We can draw up and you know drag the end point here. That way we get our final percentage um, point on the Fibonacci. Again, not doing anything with any particular rhyme or reason. I just wanna show you technical features of this and how to properly add a drawing tool. So if we wanted to, you'll see there's a selection for select all. We can do control A. So let's say you're doing something like me and just randomly placing points all across the platform or across your chart and you want to delete them. Well, as you can see, I just, just did press control all and now this will activate all of our different drawing tools here. So we can actually left click hold and drag a chart or a drawing tool here. We can select one individually. We can press delete on our keyboard. Being that I had select all on there, it actually just deleted everything. So that's really easy to do so. You can actually come up here too and just look delete all or delete selected is going to be delete or control delete. So you technically don't even have to select them there. So you do have quite a few options. Let's just take, for example, and triangle. We'll draw our triangle here. We draw the first point, then we can draw the second point or in the third right here. We can select it. I just clicked on it. We can press control C, this will highlight or um, copy it down, press control V, and then it'll just paste us and we get an identical copy of our drawing there. Again, let's come to our drawing tools. We can click on select all. You'll see they have little pivot points on them now. We press delete. 
and it will delete the following. So that's quite nice. Now, so as you can see, they're pretty much listed and they are pretty self-explanatory, the drawing tools here. We do have chart markers such as text, labels, we can place right or left labels, especially when it comes to um, footprint charts like this. You might want to put a little label right here and then just, you know, jar yourself a little note or give yourself the price of that point right there. Let's continue to look at the other chart markers. And then we have just, you know, static features, dots, diamond squares, up or down arrows. These can all be used accordingly and they're all matched to personal preference, of course. Many people might not even use these, but it all depends on your personal preference. One last thing I would like to mention is once you have a couple things on your chart here, you can go to objects list and you can pretty much just see what exactly is going on in everything you have laid out on your chart. You can see I can select it from here and it'll actually select it on my chart as well. I can delete, I can move um, properties here and selections. I can even go into properties, change the color if I wanted to. So if you take a look at the bottom right there on my chart, the 5441, I'm going to change this to yellow. I can't see that at all, but you get the point. If I had a black background, it would probably look quite nice. I can change it to black. I can change text size here. That's a little absurd, but you get the point. You have a bunch of customization options here. You can save them as default. You can reset, you can remove. There's a bunch of different options you have. And again, you can delete or select properties and drawing tools right from this section. So that's gonna cover it for drawing tools. Let's head over to indicators. So indicators here are gonna be right here, right next to the drawing tools. This is gonna be the blue little box here. Um, if you do have an indicator on your chart, this is probably gonna be blue. If not, you'll just see it's, it's still located right here. So we can click on this and of course, we'll get all these different indicators that can be put on a chart. As you can see here, we do actually have, and this is one of the default charts that does populate, at least with my ATAS platform when I open it up. So these are gonna have some pre-arranged um, indicators already on the platform or on this chart specifically. Like I said, if you do have a chart or an indicator added to your chart, it will be highlighted blue up in the top left. You can also see which ones you have on your chart down here in this little section to the bottom left. Just so you see, for example, I have a dome up here, a depth of market. I can just remove this and it'll get rid of the depth of market there on the side of my chart. Up here in the top left, this is where you're gonna go and choose the indicators you want to add on your platform. All you need to do is pretty much just left click. You can then click add. So I have cumulative delta here, for example. Before I add it, if I want, I can come into here and I can you know, adjust all these different settings here. This one can be added as a panel or onto your chart. You can select the type of drawing tools you want. You can have all the different access colors, customization, the lines, again, the type of chart it's associated with. Once you have everything um, arranged accordingly, we can click on add, click OK. I'm not sure if that's exactly technically accurate or not, or if that might not even make sense. But again, this is just showing you how to add an indicator. And again, just take what I say with a grain of salt. This is just purely technical. There's no rhyme or reason or methodology behind my practice here. So we can see, we can remove that. Let's try a different one here. Um, let's go to technical indicators. Maybe we can add in, let's see if they have it. Let's add momentum. So we can click on this, we can left click, and then we, as you can see, you get a little momentum shift panel down at the bottom here. See, as you can see, this is considered panel. You can add this in a new chart if you wanted to, or overlaying the chart, you could add this in the new panel, which we're seeing down below. You can have the source of the momentum. We can change this, of course, either open, high, low, close, or based off of volume. You can even have momentum based off another indicator if you wanted to. We can have our period here, again, your panel, or we can create an entirely new panel. We can change the momentum co color, and then we can show the description of the indicator down there in the bottom left. Settings are obviously going to differentiate between the different indicators and what exactly is contained within them, as you can see here. But just remember, your right hand side is going to be for your customization option. The left is where you're going to add them. The bottom left does display what indicators you have applied currently. And then on the very bottom left, this is where you're going to manipulate, edit, remove, and you know, actually get rid of or add different indicators accordingly. 
So that's gonna wrap, pretty much wrap it up for this video, guys. One more thing I would like to show you, I guess, is the HVOL here. You can select it based off of current month, current day. This is obviously gonna fluctuate on the type of chart you have currently open. Again, you can adjust based off, off all the following. We can add gradient colors in here if we wanted to, and then we can customize accordingly. But again, this is gonna be for the HVOL in your charts. That's going to wrap it up for this video. If you do have any questions, please post them in the comment section below. You can also head to our community forum and ask them over there. That's going to be linked down in the description below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more ATAS order flow trading content. And as always, thanks for watching.